What's up guys, thank you for watching JG Tech Blog and for today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impression of the Galaxy J7 Prime. This is the newest phone that just dropped Metro PCS. So we've heard a couple things about this phone so far, uh, before it even came out, that a lot of people saying online that it's not as good as the J7. Uh, but that's what we'll be doing today, we'll be figuring out if it's as good as the J7 and what's the pros and cons. Alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, look at the specs first of all. So this phone is 5.5 high definition display, 8 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel fr front facing camera, 16 gigs of internal memory, a 1.6 octa core processor. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the phone itself. The J7 Prime, it's all gold. Not too much of a fan of the gold color, like that. LG Stylo 2 that they came out with I just and the LG K20 for some reason I just feel like this is just too much and if anybody's passing by uh, they're gonna think this is a very expensive phone and then it just puts you more at risk of getting robbed or getting the phone stolen when it's not really a high-end phone just a mid-range phone but yeah very nice design to it not very big like the J7 uh, the J7 was a little bit more bulky uh, this is more slim and tall and it fits really good in the hands so that's not bad but it still has that sheep um, feeling to it same thing like the J J7 was all right let's go ahead and look at what's in the box so comes with the sim card this battery reminds me of the Galaxy S5 that they had uh, the manual or the wall adapter and the USB cable and it's not USB-C it's just a regular micro USB all right, and then the battery is at 3,300 milliamps. Looking at the phone, by the way, from the back, this is exactly the same design as the J3 Prime. Uh, very similar, just a little bit bigger on the J7 compared to the J3. But if you look at it, not much of a big difference. They both have the back camera and the flash with that similar design in the middle. And then looking in the front, same bezel, front-facing camera, and then the notification, the back, and the multi-window down at the bottom and then the home button is right there so they made it similar to the J3 and let's see if the specs are going to be the same as well so let's put in the battery very long battery I think this is one of the biggest difference uh, compared to the other phones it's probably going to last a long time I don't know why it seems that it looks really cheap it looks like it's just all plastic all around no metal nothing you can smell the plastic too all right and while it turns on, let me just speak about what's inside. So then you have the micro USD slot right there. And then you have the SIM card slot, rear camera, the flash. You have the speakers on the right hand side, the power button. And then on the left hand side, you have the volume up and down. At the bottom, you have the headphone jack and the micro USB charging port. Another thing that I just realized which is pretty cool is that they actually have already installed a screen protector on top of the phone. Uh, other phones, they usually don't do this. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the phone. Very nice screen, 5.5 inch display, really responsive, very clear. Let's check out the storage. So out of the 16 gigs of internal memory, they've already used up 5 gigs. Uh, so what you have left is 10 gigabytes. Compared to the J7, similar, 16 gigs of internal memory, 2 gigs of RAM, this is also 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, the biggest difference though is what we're going to see right now is in the camera. The previous camera was 13 megapixels in the rear, this is 8 megapixels in the rear, and then a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a picture of something. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the front facing camera. And so I just learned something really cool. If you actually wait and you put your hands up, it'll take a shot by itself. Let's go ahead and check out the video. Autofocus is kind of slow, but otherwise not bad. Come on, autofocus. Yep. Yeah, slow autofocus right there on the camera. So just looking at the phones right now so far as a first impression, to be honest with you, I'm kind of disappointed at Samsung. Uh, they could have done a way better job. So far the only thing that I see that it's better than the J7 is that this has a bigger battery. Other than that, this was 
a little of a downgrade compared to the previous phone. The J7, to be honest, seems like it was a better phone than this. Had a better autofocus on the camera. I also feel like it had a better display than the J7 Prime. Uh, but anyways, that's my opinion. I will do a full review. Make sure that you are subscribed so you can catch that once I upload it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section below.